But I wanted to ask you a question because several people sent this in, Jim. And the few of the people who sent it in actually attached photos. So these were people in Las Vegas for the AEW event. Okay. And they noticed this. Here's one question. This was sent to CornyDriveThru at gmail.com from DJ in Toronto. I saw this pop up online that at double or nothing, WWE had Money in the Bank mobile billboards driving around the T-Mobile arena. <laughs> what do you think about this, Jim? And of course, on these was Cody Rhodes. So they're driving around the AEW building with Cody Rhodes plugging Money in the Bank, which of course is in Vegas, just moved to a smaller building. Isn't there somewhere a correlation? But Is there some guy out there showing... The jilted ex, a picture of his ex-girlfriend that he's with now, going, ah, you can come over here and see her. Um, I mean, that's marketing 101. For those people, they are predisposed to want to see Cody, so let's tell those people where they can see Cody, since they can't see him there anymore. I, that's, that's classic wrestling promotion. Well, the question here was, could it have been a coincidence, or was someone no. in Titan Tower <laughs> actually planning this? No, of course it wasn't a coincidence. It was completely planned. Why the fuck wouldn't you plan that? Again, that's exactly, you know, that's wrestling promotion 101. And maybe that's one of Jeff Jarrett's new ideas as senior VP in charge of live events. And that you're going to the audience that is predisposed to like your product and you're featuring the guy that just left their company that is you're predisposed to have an affinity for as well. A big group of wrestling fans and a big group of wrestling fans that used to pay to see Cody Rhodes. There's your market. 